recognize Mr. Cucciamorte from Illinois for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. On December 10th, 2019, this committee held a hearing to examine and investigate widespread complaints from patients, physicians, scientists, and others that talc found in many consumer products, including in Johnson & Johnson talc-based baby powder, contained carcinogens such as asbestos and other uh, materials. This followed a Reuters 2018 investigation saying that, quote, internal documents examined by Reuters show that the company, namely Johnson & Johnson's baby powder, was sometimes tainted with carcinogenic asbestos and that J&J &J kept that information from regulators and the public, close quote. As part of this committee's investigation, the committee uncovered that there were indeed carcinogens in talc, that there was merit to Reuters' allegations, and that FDA testing was inadequate to determine its presence. Johnson & Johnson was invited to testify at this hearing, but declined to do so. According to a May 2020 Reuters article, more than 19,000 lawsuits had been filed by that point in time. And according to recent statements by J&J, &J, the company, quote, continues to believe that these claims are specious and lack scientific merit. And that's your position, Ms. Wine, right? I can't hear you. Apologies, Congressman, thank you for the question. Um, that they, that these claims lack scientific merit and are specious, correct? That is correct. Talc does not cause cancer. Correct. Well, that's your position. Interestingly, in May 2020, J&J &J announced that it would stop selling talc-based baby powder in U.S. and Canada, correct? And it doesn't sell talc-based baby powder in U.S. or Canada, correct? Congressman, um, it's just a talc, simple question, ma'am. Talc was discontinued due to lack of consumer demand. That was a result of the widespread advertising funded by third-party litigation funders to spread the narrative that talc contains asbestos. And, and these, all these lawsuits, the 19,000 lawsuits, are specious and lack scientific merit, correct? Congressman, talc does not contain asbestos and does not cause talc. And, and that's your position. Asbestos. I understand. That and correct. that's why you stopped selling baby powder. Now, let's see. In a recent interesting release, can you please put up the announcement that was publicized in the New York Times? Johnson & Johnson reaches deal for $8.9 billion talc settlement in April of this year. And you haven't disputed this uh, piece of news, correct? Congressman, that was a proposed settlement proposal. So you're withdrawing from the settlement? Congressman, the settlement was never agreed to by any of the parties. It so was you, proposed in the context of a bankruptcy filing. So is this proposed settlement something that you are walking away from? Congressman, pursuant to the bankruptcy judge's urging, we continue to engage in settlement discussions. However, do you walk away from this settlement offer or not? $8.9 billion has been put on the table. Congressman. Do you dispute the accuracy of this headline? Yes or no? It's very simple. Congressman, we put a proposal forth in the context of a litigation matter for the settlement, which over six, with which. 60,000 claimants have now agreed to that. Now, do you agree? Have you, have you put forward the proposal or not? Congressman, the proposal was put forth in the context of the bankruptcy. And you haven't withdrawn from it. And 60,000 claimants have agreed to this so far, according to your press release dated April 4th, 2023. Correct? Congressman. This is your statement. Yes, Congressman. Lord yes. So the answer is a proposal for $8.9 billion settling over 60,000 claimants' allegations has been put forward. Now, it's your position, of course, that the claims of these 19,000 lawsuits and more are specious and lack scientific merit. But your claims that somehow your product, Johnson & Johnson's baby powder, is somehow life enhancing and that these claims are specious and lack merit are themselves specious. And you should think very carefully 
about casting all of these lawsuits as being somehow whole, wholly um, lacking merit in themselves. Thank you so much. I yield back. Chair recognizes Ms. Fox, from, or Dr. Fox from North.